There was a little race you may have heard of in Cheektowaga. Every single seat in the town of Amherst, including legislator Gene Vinyl. All Team Vinyl to the House, to the stage. I was so glad to be a part of this ticket with Mark Poland Cars and all my fellow legislators and the awesome town of Amherst with a sweep. And a campaign is not done by one person, it's done by a team. So I wanted to say thank you to all my happy warriors with the campaign that would, they campaigned with me. Number one, Greg Vinyl. Number two, my four awesome kids and their sweethearts. My Vinyl and Vinyl team, past, present, and future. Vinyl, Vinyl team. My Jen, my go, my ride or die. To the wonderful Michelle Ionello, first woman, first woman chair of the Amherst Democratic Committee that oversaw this sweep. Not without people, all with our little typical, you know, this and that. And I think she's the woman with the biggest uh, political party in Western New York running that. And I want to thank all the members of the Amherst Democratic Committee, Jerry Zellner, the central staff, and all that helped us. And I want to thank our team Vino. Where's Ratha? She's here? Where's my Ratha? Is Ratha here? I want to thank Team Vinyl. We had over 100 volunteers, people not in government, not in politics, who came to volunteer for this committee. And I want to thank them, people from age 9 to over 80. Every decade, the teens, the 20s, the 30s, and representative of all Amherst. Juan gave me this beautiful, uh, this beautiful uh, wreath. Is she here? You got to get her up here. Yay, come on up. They sent out texts, they did technology, they did everything. And so I wanted to thank everyone who was on the ballot with me this year. It's a small club of people who really know what it's like to go uh, and run and do these things. And I want to thank the people who voted. And I think that knowing, going door to door, my husband and I both said that people aren't angry. They care, they're interested, they want to know what's going on. So I'm proud to be an American and the future of Western New York and the future of America is really bright. So thank you to volunteers and thanks to everyone here. So as I mentioned, we had a hell of a night in Amherst. I'm going to bring up a few of our victorious candidates now, starting with our council member, Mike Zucala. Mike, come on up. Thank you, Jeremy. Thank you, Jeremy. I'll make it quick, I promise. Thank you so much, everyone. It's, it's so nice to be here. Four years ago, those of you remember, I was not on this stage because on election night four years ago, they told me I lost. But sure enough, absentee ballots confirmed that I did win. And it is nice to be here, again, validated by the town of Amherst to serve them again for another four years. Thank all of you for your hard work, especially my lovely wife, Julie, Julie. whose support I couldn't do it, my campaign treasurer, Gary, my campaign manager, John, and everyone else, too, too often, too many to mention, thank you all for your hard work. Thank you all. Four more years of hard work. Thank you. Good job, buddy. Good job. Ladies and gentlemen, the next town justice in Amherst and Nichols. Thank you guys so much. We're going to have an all female bench in Amherst for the first time ever. We're going to have an all-democratic bench in Amherst for the first time ever. I have to thank our chairman, Jeremy Zellner, and my Amherst chairwoman, Michelle Ionello, the first chairwoman of Amherst. 
with a clean sweep in Amherst. And thank you to my parents, my in-laws, and my husband who got 250 Republican signatures and 250 signatures from my dad. Thank you guys, I could never have done it without you. Good job, proud of you, great work. Now, it's been a long time. We've been fighting to get this highway superintendent seat in the town of Amherst for a long time. Let's hear it for Steve Floss. Hi, everybody. Thank you for being here tonight. This is awesome. I would first like to thank Jeremy and the Erie County Democratic Committee, Michelle Ionella Ward, and the Amherst Democratic Committee. With everything that you guys have done for me, it's unbelievable. I'd like to thank all my friends from the Amherst Highway Department that have supported me through and through. My family, my brother, my daughter who flew in from New York just to be here for tonight. And last but not least, my, um, my rock, my everything, my fiance, Tracy Metro. I love you, honey. Thank you for everything. Thanks, everybody. Thanks, Steve. We're going to hear from Council Member Elect Leah Halton Pope in a minute. We're sending two women to the Buffalo Common Council this year. You know, something I've learned is, is once in a while you work really hard for a great person and they're not successful. But if they keep up the hard work and they keep persevering and they keep pushing and they're tough, good things happen to them. And five years ago tonight, we were on a stage and it was one of the toughest nights that I've had because we really worked hard for an amazing person Angela Marinucci to become our, town, our county clerk. And she just barely lost to this guy that's in there right now who's, you know, losing hundreds of thousands of the taxpayers' dollars. Um, you know, she just barely lost, but she kept at it and worked hard and put herself in a position to be the next town council member in the town of Amherst, Angela Marinucci. Hi, everybody. Thank you, thank you, thank you. This is incredible. Um, <laughs> woo! I, I have to first thank my amazing husband, who you don't often see, because he rocks it at home with my kids and makes sure we all stay together. So, Dustin. <laughs> and, <laughs> woo! And my little girls. Oh, there's the third one, um, who are the reason that I do everything because someday we're going to make this world even better for them to grow up in, for their kids to grow up in. And so uh, my three daughters. And then, you know, Italians don't travel lightly. So we've got my whole family, both chosen and by blood, who have worked their tails off in Amherst these past six months, both helping us at home and on the doors. My parents, who knocked over 200 doors just this w last weekend. But I could not be here without the strength, courage, passion of Chairman Jeremy Zellner, who's taken care of me, who shepherded me, who has believed in me from the very beginning when I was a breastfeeding mom with a five-month-old. Five and said, I can run a countywide race. And he, he believed in me. He did me. And um, to chairwoman Michelle Ionello, who was so excited and behind me when I said, hey, I, I think this is the right seat for me. I think this is something I can do. She's never wavered. I am so thankful for you. To county executive Mark Polencars. Happy birthday, boss, but it is a pleasure and honor and a privilege to work in your administration. I thank you for allowing me to do this and for encouraging me and for all of that support to Senator Tim Kennedy, Senator Sean Ryan, Assemblymember Pat Burke, John Rivera, Monica Wallace, and to my Assembly mother, Karen McMahon. I thank you all for the guidance, the courage, 
Um, no one comes up here without a village, and my village includes an incredible amount of people, of which I'll never be able to name them all. But our, pa our current deputy county executive and our most previous deputy county executive have been incredible mentors to me. So Lisa Shamara, wow, I can see you. And Maria White, um, I am thankful. There she is, look at them both. Woo, Maria. Love, love, love. Um, so thank you, thank you, thank you. And finally, to the best crack team of SLPOs, you know who you are, for taking my 2 a.m. text, for getting a negative ad turned around in 12 hours, for helping me, for believing in me, and for encouraging me every day. I am nothing without you. So thank you, thank you, thank you. Amherst, we got a lot of work, but it's gonna be amazing. Thank you.